hello python programmers so in this video i'm gonna show you that how you can create a digital clock is using python which will look somewhat like this now i know this is not a very attractive looking clock <laughs> but uh, this is a really good practice for our beginners and uh, you can really test things on such small projects so that you can polish your skills now the modules used in this project are kinter and time so so let me show you that how you can install kinter just go to the command prompt you can write cmd here write pip install tkinter it should be tkinter press enter for you the downloading process will start it is already installed for me so i'll close this one and i'll close this one also and now with this being said and all the introduction given let's get started with the programming so let me import our required libraries first first is this then from kinter should be kinter import star or import all then we'll import our time library which will be used to get the current time now we'll create a variable let's call it times because the time is the name of a module so i don't wanna name any function or class which is related to that or which is exact that word now we'll create a variable current time current time time dot strf time and we want the r make sure that this is capital and your minute and your second So this command will give you the current hour, minute and second which is according to your system's time. Okay, so now we'll configure our clock. Configure text is equal to now the variable current time. and the clock will will change after every 200 microseconds we want to uh, execute our times function now let's get to our GUI part or kinter part we'll create a variable which will store our kinter window we'll define the geometry or the size of our window geometry let's say 500 to 250 you can really experiment with these values and just create your own project now we'll create a variable called clock which will store our label now here we are gonna use three labels first to show the time second to mention that what is the hour what is the minute and what is the second and the last one will be at the top digital clock so these are the three 
labels which we are gonna create now let's create the first one to display our current time root now I'm gonna define the fonts it will be times which stands for times new roman it should be bold and the bg color or the color of our text will be white so let's grid or implement this label into our kinter window dot grid sorry grid and uh, row is equal to second and column should also be second pad y is the padding between the two labels let's say 25 and pad x is equal to 100 now you must know that what is the y axis and what is the x axis X axis is the uh, horizontal one and the Y axis is the vertical one so 25 padding from the X axis and 100 padding from your sorry 25 padding from your Y axis and 100 padding from your X axis after that we want to call our function which is times we'll simply call this then we are gonna create a variable for a label for our digital clock we'll name it digi sweet little name label um, root the text which we are gonna write here is digital clock I want the font to be times I love times new roman 24 size and it should be bold now I'm gonna grid or implement them after creating the ppt for my college seminars i'm very accustomed to name the fonts as times new roman <laughs> so now let's create our last uh, label which is for the hour minute and second notations we'll name it as no day label and uh, once again root which is the variable in which our kinter window is saved the text here is r some spaces minutes some spaces and then seconds some more spaces uh, the font times as you know my habit a bit smaller because our college teacher are not gonna check this <laughs> and then we're gonna grid our nota row is equal to 3 and column is equal to 2 so I'm gonna close this one we're gonna close our window let me save this and let's run it 
and TK is not defined because it should be capital T and my program running in the first time not possible not possible because I haven't saved it let's run it again so here we go in the second try my program run <laughs> and uh, we can see this beautiful clock which says that this is a digital clock as you can see the current hour minute and seconds and the notation of hour minute second so this was a short video and not very impressive project but clearly you can create create this project to just polish your skills and uh, work more on the GUI projects and work on some real life projects so this is it for this video and if you want some more GUI related projects like database management or somewhat like a web scrapping project then the links are popping above on your screen click on them and I'll meet you there bye bye